Hey, what is up guys? This is Average Asian Tech, and today we're going to take a look at the Hutu Tripmate Titan. So before I jump too deep into this video, I'd like to give a big thanks to Hutu for setting this in for review. Links in the description. So taking a look around the box itself, we see that this device can be used in many different ways, such as a power bank, NAS, or network attached storage, and a router. You can also see the general design of this device on the side. Opening this box up, we can see the Tripmate Titan itself, the charging cable, and the instructions manual. The Tripmate Titan itself has a heft to it, and I was surprised at how small it was. On the right side is where you can find the flap covering the Ethernet and the reset button. And on the other side, you can find the USB charging or data port for the NAS and the charging port. On the top, you can find the on button, the wireless, and the battery indicator light. And on the bottom, you can also find all the specifications for this travel router. So I've been using this for about a week now, and I gotta say, I love this thing. The triple functionality is just great for the price you pay for it. I used it to charge my phone, and one time, I was really bored so I just got a flash drive with the movie on it and plugged it in and streamed it wirelessly using the Tripmate app. There is a bit of a stuttering if you skip around a ton, but if you watch a video from start to end, you won't have any issue. I did try out the Ethernet 2 wireless functionality, it was okay with the overall performance. I ran a speed test against my router that my company provided for me and this Hutu Tripmate Titan. I got around 102 down and 11 up from my internet provider router and on the trip made I got around 11 down and 12 up. Now don't let this turn you down. Although these numbers might not seem impressive, it wouldn't bother the average user. It isn't supposed to be made for a permanent solution to Wi-Fi, but it is a solid option if you were on the go. So I would absolutely recommend this product. This would be great for anyone who travels a ton and wants to use this as a power bank, NAS, or even a router. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Average Asian Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.